All right, big step forward to talk about this morning for commuters. Today, the G Train project focuses on modernizing the train, begins its last and final phase. So what does that mean for people who ride the G Train and when will everything be back up and running? Lindsay Tuckman is here. Yeah. With nothing but a G Train information. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here. Thank you. Baby. <laughs> that's good, my guess. Thank you. So, right, that's good. so you ride the G Train. You know what's Yeah, this happening. is news you can use for me. Okay. When I leave here today, I'm going to have to figure out how to get home, right? Uh, which is what a lot of people will be having to do. So I'm hoping I can help some folks. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, what you can expect from the G chain today. This is the sec the final phase of this renovation project, which um, started earlier this summer, specifically with uh, from Northern Brooklyn and Queens. That was the first phase. And now we're into the third phase of the project. So taking a look at some video right now, this was earlier this morning where uh, the stations are closed officially starting today. And this is about three weeks that people will be dealing with this project. So what are we expecting from this? From Bedford Nostrand to Church Avenue, uh, it will be closed altogether. No service whatsoever between that. So that's until September 3rd. This is a signal modernization project. They'll be redoing the tracks. They'll be redoing the signals all to make it a smoother, more reliable ride. So it's good news in the long run, but of course right now it's difficult. So what are you people going to do? There will be free B93 shuttle buses making stops between Bedford Nostrand and Hoyt Skimmerhorn. So you'll have to take that shuttle bus. As someone who lives over there, I can tell you they arrive very frequently. Oh, good. So that That's is good, good news, but there are also a lot of stoplights. So just, you know, keep that in mind uh, on your route or you can walk. It's a nice day as I hear. So there's, you're going to have to figure it out for a little while, but the end goal is to have the, the trains be more reliable and run on time. Uh, so September 3rd is the day that uh, it'll be reopened. Once Any idea how much longer is it going to take you to try to get this other leg, get to the spot where you can actually get the train again? It'll take a little bit longer, especially okay. if you're dealing with traffic or anything like that. For me, I'll probably just take a completely different train all together yeah. and yeah. walk a little bit longer. But gotcha. I think some people will be waking up this morning. Yeah. Show up to the train. Not a great yeah. surprise. Well, at least, yeah. you know, on September 3rd, I mean, it's just, you know, a few weeks. So a few weeks. Not so long.